First and foremost, man, before we jump into it, shots out salute the team movement, man. It's your boy, Alias Sub of Reckless Podcast. Big shots out salute to Tazo TV. Shots out salute to the Snake Loke, man. Y'all know what it is, man. We love the kids. Man, this was brought to my attention, man. Bro, I'm going to let y'all know, man, off the rip, this video go piss a lot of y'all off. It pissed me off when I was watching it, bro. Man, we got to air out these weirdos. We got to air out these pedos. You know what I'm saying? These violators, these perpetrators, man, these fakes and these snakes, man. Y'all already know what it is just like that. So with that being said, man, let's jump into it, man. Let's air out this fucking weirdo. You already know what it is. Money Wood Grain, bring your bike jazz over here, boy. Just like that. Bring your whole ass over here. You feel me? Now, what the hell is going on? I want to say first thing, yo. Why would a grown-ass man be calling a child that he don't know from a can of paint, bro? Why would you be even on the phone with an underage girl for any reason, bro? Even if you are recording, even if you are recording the call, why are you on the phone with an underage girl, bro? Bro, let's keep it a band in a hundred grand. I had a whole bite ass nigga named IBA Sneakerhead and my fucking daughter's DM, 40 year old nigga, and my daughter's DM and shit. And you got people out here trying to fucking vouch and make excuses for that shit. Nigga, it ain't no fucking reason to be on the fucking phone with no kid. Just like it ain't no fucking reason to be a grown ass man in no 12 year old's DM, nigga. Fuck you mean, bro. You niggas got it real fucked up out here, bro. When are you niggas gonna get y'all motherfucking memories put in y'all lap? Just know that. For any reason. And then the question I want to ask you, like, well, why would you help Snake Lope when, man, you never met me. This is our first time ever even talking. He got pictures of a of an underage girl in his in his possession. Yeah, well, you know. Wow, well, like I said, I'm, I'm not gonna put your I'm not gonna put your naked photos out there. Um, I ain't gonna do that. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all, y'all. Bro, so for those that don't know, you know, if he on the phone with an underage girl and he got pictures of this chick in his phone, y'all know that's child pornography, right? Y'all know that's child porn, right? All right, let's keep it moving. I'm just saying, let y'all know that, right? All right, Monty Woodgrain, bring your bite ass over here, fucking weirdo ass nigga. Y'all fucking, <laughs> y'all watch anybody on YouTube, bro. What's up, Crown Key? Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm not gonna put your, I'm not gonna put your naked photos out there. Um, I ain't gonna do that. Bro, he just said, I'm not gonna put your naked photos out there. Do you realize this nigga is extorting a kid, bro? Do you realize he is extorting a kid, Manila? Let's go. So, Kevin really did say that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, like, he described to me what they look like. Like, <laughs> I gotta go on my phone, bro. I'm in my basement and shit. I don't want my wife can understand the conversation, but. <laughs> wow, bro. I'm speechless, bro. I'm speechless, bro. Cause um, she don't like this YouTube bullshit, you know what I mean? She don't even like me fucking with this shit, but. He sent me. There was one shot with the titties. And She's underage, y'all. Y'all listen. She underage. He got pictures of an underage girl in his phone, bro. Damn, my nigga, this shit is crazy. He sent me one shot with the titties. I think he had his shirt off or something like that. You had like a, a bra on. I'm trying to remember. I gotta, I gotta go get the pictures, whatever, because I got them on my cell phone. You right. This can make the news. Man, big facts, bro. Why ain't nobody caught them people on this nigga? Why ain't nobody put this motherfucking pressure on this nigga? Why ain't nobody exposed this nigga? Do it take team movement to do motherfuckers' jobs out here, bro? Y'all out here watching this nigga and ain't exposing this nigga. Man, what are we really talking about out here, man? Team movement, man. Stand up, man. You feel me? Tazo TV, man. Part of team movement, man. Stand up. Go sub to the bro, man. You feel me?
Yeah, you suck his dick. Oh, he's like, yeah, um, you suck his dick. Um, his dick was too big to fit in your hole. So so Y'all he hear this shit? Like Y'all hear this he shit? And that's why I'm like, hold up, that story don't make sense. I'm like, hold the fuck up. Then... Did y'all just hear what the fuck this dude just said, bro? His his such and such wasn't big enough to fit in your ho bro. If this shit ain't pissed y'all the fuck off already by watching this, bro, then we just two different type, bro. You feel me? Hey, it's just like that, bro. If y'all ain't already pissed off watching this, bro, then we just two different type of people, bro. Cause I'm already heated, nigga, from fucking minute one. <laughs> That's why I was like, hold, hold up, suck, suck the feet. He asked in the beginning of this video. In the beginning, when he first got on the phone with her, he asked her, How old are you? She said, I'm 17 years old. I just turned 17. He said, You've been 17 for, for two years now. Basically saying she's lying. He really thinks she's like 15 years old. But she keeps telling people she's 17. So we really don't know how old she is, but in, in his in his mind, he's believing that she's 15 years old. She's 17 years old. This girl is not she's not an adult. She's a minor. She's not legally of age. She can call me Brown. I rocks with you heavy, bro. You already know Mama's cooking. You feel me? 24 Crip Gang season is man. But hey, bro. You got to keep weird ass niggas like this to fuck up off your panel, bro. You feel me? You can't be giving no weird ass niggas, no pedos, no fucking light over there, bro. For real, for real. Y'all niggas need to expose this nigga to the utmost, bro. Just like that. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, team movement. Keep that pressure on these weirdos necks. He could be 13 for all we know. And y'all support this kind of shit? Kwame Brown, you got this kind of shit on your panel? I'm like, hold up. And then I thought about it. Why would another woman tell another man that you know Kevin's trying to get with you? Why would you tell him that? Why would you Bro, how suspect is this dude, bro? You own the kid on some weirdo pedo shit. And then talking about another man's D sauce. Come on, bro. You a peer, nigga, you a weirdo and you a fruit loop. Come on, bro. I knew that story had to be fake. <laughs> we just played along with it because the shit was funny to me. It's fucking hilarious. I mean, Bro, who the fuck think that shit funny? Let me know. By fucking raising hands in the building. Who think that shit funny? Nick, I don't see no hands. <laughs> Grown ass man talking about sex with a child. Don't you think the phone with a child. You gotta remember that. Because he got good content and he's breaking down scumbags on youtube like this right here bro dudes that are on the phone with young girls dudes that that admits to having child pornography at the end of the day it's child pornography he's he's admitted to having in his possession what kind of man gets a a a, a picture or multiple pictures of a young girl and keeps them in his phone why would you do that why wouldn't you immediately delete those pictures and then contact the police because whoever sent them to you, they need to be arrested? Bro, Tazo spitting facts on facts on facts, bro. You feel me? Everybody that know this nigga Money Woodgrain, expose this video, share this shit, get this nigga fuck up out of here, bro. This nigga's a weirdo, bro. It's your boy Alias, man. Y'all know what it is. Reckless Podcast, man. Sub up. We in the building. Team movement. We love the kids just like that.